Good morning. I said my name is ATK. That is my professional name. But my real name is Malcolm Dr. Derek. That is my YouTube channel. You can come, learn, and share ideas as we journey through our academic life. Today we are going to start Satsuka with uh, maps. And under Satsuka maps, we have dot map, proportional maps. We have a lot of topics under proportional Satsuka maps. But today our focus will be on Satsuka maps. When you say Satsuka maps, what does it mean or what does it include? Satsuka maps can be defined as circles draw to represent quantities of values in a given what area. So they are circles which are drawn to represent what values in a given what area. So steps to construct a proportional circle. First, you have to know this. If the values given to you in the question are huge numbers, then you can choose a common number or a common value to divide all the values to obtain a little number for you to enable you to calculate. The second step, after you choose the common value to divide through, then you will square root the number and record the answers. So after we have used the common value to divide all the values given to us per the question, the result that we get, we are going to square root all the results and record our answers. That is the second step to go about. And the third step is the square root answers. After we have square root the result, we, we will the square root answers that we have recorded. We will now divide by the scale given to us in the question. We will now divide the square root answers by the scale give it to ask in the question. Example of the scale can be one centimeter to two units or one represent four units as well. So in my step four, I indicated in case the scale is not given in the question, then you need to choose your suitable scale to divide the square root answers. Remember, we are going to write what and the question will not come in the straightforward answers or the straightforward question for you to answer well, easily. So they can omit the square root or they can omit the skill. When they omit the skill, you need to choose your skill to work. Note, when the numbers given to you in the exams are not huge, then the step one is not applicable. You can skip the step one and go straight to what? The step two as well. In our initial videos, we do the calculation of the WASI results, the WASI question, then you see that the step one was ignored and the work will be straight to work step two. Okay, let's take an example and see how we can execute the steps we have uh, spread out. So example, a rubber production in Africa, countries, using a scale of one centimeter to six feet. So to end this question, our scale is given. The scale is given as one centimeter to six minutes. Okay, let's go to the question or the table. We have country, we have uh, the volume of tons. That is the quantity of rubber production each country has. So we come for Cameroon, we have 54,001.1. Then we go to Cote d'Ivoire, their production of rubber is 125,463.7 tons. They come to Ghana, our country. We are producing 10,347 and five. We come to Liberia. We are producing 28,132.3 tons. We come to Nigeria. They are producing 89. 894.1 tons. So the question goes, illustrate this data using a proportional circle. So we are going to use our four steps here to execute or to answer the question. Let's go to the solution. Because when you check a table, 
we can see that the least number amongst them, or the least value here, is 10,347.5 tons. That is even the least. So all this number here are huge numbers. And if we have to scale with these ones, you will find it what? You will, will fumble around it. So the best one to work out this one is to apply your step one. That is, if the values given are huge numbers, you can choose a common value to divide all. So let's go to our solution. So our common value we choose here is 1,000. So we choose 1,000 because looking at the smallest value is 10,000. If you have to choose a 10,000 to divide all, then that is going to be 1. And finding the square root of 1 will be what? Difficult. So we have to choose a suitable scale. That will be what? 1,000. So that we can break all these numbers down to a simple word, value. So we go to Cameroon. 54,001.1 was divided by 1,000, and the result is 54. Let's go to Cote d'Ivoire. We divided 101, 125,463.7 divided by 1,000, and the result is 1. 125.5. Then we come to Ghana, our country. That is 10,347.5 10, divided by 1,000. We are getting 10.4. We come to Liberia, 28,132.3 divided by 1,000. And we are getting 28.2. Nigeria, we are having 89,894.1 divided by 1,000. Or we also give us 89.9. So these are the values that we get after we divided by a common value so that we make these values simpler or smaller to calculate with. So, when we come to step two, they say square root the, the numbers and record your answers. Let's go back to our question. So we are going to square root all the answers. That is the answers of the when we divided by the common factor. So the square root of 54 is giving us 5.7.4. Sorry, it's giving us 7.4. The square root of 125.5 is giving us 11.2. We are sending all of them to one decimal point. Because centimeters is in what? Decimal point of one. Then we go to the square root of 10.4 will give us 3.2. Then we have the square root of 28.2 will be giving us 5.3. Then the square root of 89.9 .9 will be giving us 9.5. Okay, so let's go back to our step and follow the step to go to know which is the next one to do. So the step 3 say the square root answers are therefore divided by the scale given to get the radius to draw your set. So, per our step, we have to divide all these answers by the scale given. What was the scale given? Per the question, we have a scale using a scale of one centimeter to six units. That was the scale given. So, we have to divide all of this by six to get our radius to draw the same. So, let's go. I titled it. Using the scale to generate your radius to draw your circle. Note, the scale is one centimeter to say sweet. So we pick our answer. For Cameroon, we are having 7.4 divided by 6. It will give us 1.2 centimeters. For Cote d'Ivoire, we are having 11.2 divided by 6, which will result 1.9 centimeters. Then we have Ghana. 3.2 divided by 6, resulting 0.5 centimeters. 
Remember, the zero years stand for the centimeters and your five years stand for your millimeters. As 10 millimeters is equivalent to what? One centimeter. So this five years is not five centimeters, but it's representing millimeter. We are bringing a centimeter because of the zero year. Please note and not be get confused along the line. So we divide 5.3 divided by 6 and we are getting 0 0.9 centimeter. Again, here the zero year represents the centimeter and this one represents the millimeter. So we are going to choose 9 millimeters to draw and 5 millimeters to draw. So 5 point, when we come to Nigeria, we are having 9.5 divided by 6, giving us 1.6 centimeters. Now, based on this, that we are going to draw, we are going to draw our cell. So let's go for the first one. We have chemical. So you open your compass to a length of 1.2 centimeters and you draw your cell. When you draw your circle, you show the radius, which is 1.2 centimeters. The radius is the center to any part of what? The circle, or we say to any part of the circumference of the circle, is the radius. So the radius for Cameroon is 1.2 centimeters. Cote d'Ivoire, per calculation, we had 1.9 centimeters. So we are going to open our compass to 1.9 centimeters. And 1.9 centimeters is 1 centimeter and 9 millimeters added up. So when you pick it, when you open it to 1 centimeter and you count the smaller one, uh, 6 to 9, it will give us 1.9 centimeters. Then you open your compass and you draw your circle. We can bear with me that 1.9 centimeter is bigger than 1.2 centimeter as shown by our circle. Let's go to Gandhi. We had 0.5 centimeters. We got 0.5 centimeter and it's, we are going to measure 5 millimeters. We can see the circle is very small because 0.5 is not up to 1 centimeter. So we can see our circle very small. Let's go to Liberia, of which after calculation we had 0.9 centimeters. So we open to 9 millimeters. As I told you earlier on, then we draw our 9 millimeters circle and we show our radius. Then we go to Nigeria. Per calculation, we have 1.9 centimeters. We open up our compass using our rule to get our 1.6 centimeters. Then we draw our circle. When we finish, we label it. When you finish, you can put your title there as a proportional circle showing the production of rubber in Africa. Then you want to Then you can, under it, you can indicate the scale that which was given to you. Yeah. So, that is how proportional circles are being worked out. Any contribution, any addition to this video is welcome. As we all journey through our academic uh, ladder, our academic uh, journey. Don't forget to subscribe and like the channel as you learn with Sir Thank you and have a wonderful day.